Lucille Ladybug. Well, Lucille, what's the deal? You're bugging me today. I'm bugging you because I'm bugged. <laughs> me, of course you're a bug. No, I mean it. I'm bugged. And when I'm bugged, I tend to go around bugging others. <laughs> what are you bugged about? Well, there's a lot of good stuff going on. It's spring, and I love spring. It's really wonderful. Spring brings birds. Birds like to eat and pick on us ladybugs. So I'm all bugged about that. I'm afraid about that and thinking about that all the time. And so I'm just bugged. I'm going to bug you. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Same thing happens to me. Really? Yeah, really. I get bugged about stuff. Uh, in fact, that's what we've been talking about, that, that we have some hard times. And in our hard times, we can get so much focused on the bad times, we get bugged, and if we get bugged, we start bugging others in the process. Whoa, what do you do about it? What do you do about it? Well, that's, I was just working on that. What are you doing? Well, uh, this is a list we started working on last week. Uh, it's a thanks list, so we can kind of keep our eyes open to the good news, because it's good news in hard times. We keep our eyes on the good news and the things and the way it's showing up, and we can write those down. So I've all, wow, Lucy, it's all kinds of names on there. Yeah, names of folks that, that are new friends, because, and some are new friends, some have been friends for a long time, but those are our thanks. Well, what's down there at the bottom? Well, that's the things that are bugging us, uh, or that we're bugged about, or sometimes it's the same thing. We're bugged and concerned about these folks that we're thankful for, and so we, we it's like the bricks over there. We just want to, they, they kind of weigh us down sometimes. We just put them at the feet of Jesus. He's our good news. Does no, that take care? Well, it sure does help. When we're bugged, rather than be bugging my wife and my daughter and anybody else I can be around, which I can't be around anybody within six feet. Whoa! You're rattling on now. I'm rattling on. I think we've made our point. Thanks, Lucille. Uh, hello. Um, welcome back. Uh, we're here today. Uh, again, not to put on a show. Uh, but uh, why are we here? To be reminded that what? We have good news, even in hard times. There's some hard times, isn't it, going on? Um, bricks that we can tend to carry around. Uh, so what are we going to do about that? Well, I tried to remind Lucille about that. We want to be looking for the, 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 the good, positive. I just shared with my wife and daughter one. I, I was pulling a book out of my bookshop while I go, and this little thing, I know you can't see it hardly from where you're at. Maybe I can come over a little bit closer. Uh, just a, a, a little bit of a, a cross has some beads on, so it's made to be kind of in your pocket so you can feel that cross. And so I saw that, but on the back, I know you can't read what's on the back, but I'll read it to you. Do not be afraid. I am with you always. I really think that was good news. That was that was, that was Jesus kind of reaching down uh, and helping me be reminded of what I need to be reminded of today. Um, that's good news. And so I look at that and I say thank you for things like that. Thank you for meeting a neighbor of mine just down the street. Been li living there for five years, though, because we were walking by, keeping our distance. Had a chance to meet him. Uh, and that was good news. But yet, I have concerns today. Concerns for people who have lost people. Before all this started, and since this has all started. So, try to lay that. Okay, anyway. So, but what we're celebrating, part of that good news, is that what? God made who? Me, you, us all special. In space, they're special with a thinker, point up there, thinker, a feeler, kind of feel things down our gut. We get nervous and scared. So, Feeler, chooser. That's kind of the heart of us. Chooser, chooser. Thinker, feeler, chooser. But there's, there's something else that we want to share with you today that is a really great gift from God that makes us just extra special. And, uh, and, and my friend Scotty, uh, you met him just the other day. Uh, and, and, yeah, and so this is our prop character one of our prop characters, and this is the hat that I think we just did, Scotty, just maybe in our last segment. Uh, but he has another little story he wants to share with us. And uh, you listen very carefully and see if you can hear 
the gift from God that we've been given, I think, is part of making it special. Let's see what Scott has for us today. It's Scotty, Scotty Scout again. Uh, I'm just learning to jump my jump rope. <laughs> Doing pretty good, aren't I? Huh? <laughs> but, but, but I learned I can do all kinds of things with my jump rope besides just jump rope. <laughs> I can I can pretend with it. I can pretend I'm a cowboy <laughs> out on the range riding my horse. He's gonna catch me a cow. Whoa! <laughs> or, or or I can pray. I play out in the jungle, looking for wild animals. And all of a sudden, I see a snake. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. This is a good. I like this one. I can pretend I'm gonna be a tightrope walker, way, way, way above the ground. <laughs> it's fun to jump rope. It's also fun to pretend. I love to pretend. I love to pretend. That means. My mom says I have an imagination. It means I like to pretend stuff. It helps me when I play. It helps me when I, I, I hear or read or see a story. Uh, 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 with my imagination and my pretender, I can become a part. Most of my favorite stories are the Chronicles of Narnia. You ever heard of those? It's like it's like I can become a part of that. And, and the great the, and, the, and the white witch and, and, and then there's Aslan. All the, I just, and there's even the stories in the Bible about Jesus. And I, I can I can be I, I, and before Jesus even like Jericho and the walls come tumbling down and walking with Jesus and and, and playing games and, and little children. Oh, I love that. But Mama says sometimes I have an overactive imagination. <laughs> What's that mean? That means sometimes at night when I'm trying to go to sleep, I hear a little sound. Or I see a shadow that I've not seen before. And my imagination goes wild. There's someone trying to get in the room to get me. Or, or I sneeze. You know all this stuff they're talking about? COVID or COVID-19 stuff or something? I, I sneeze on it. I got it. I'm going to die. <laughs> my, that's an overactive imagination. But then, but then my daddy says that this imagination thing that we've got is one of the things that makes us most special from God, maybe even. I said, huh? What's that mean, daddy? And he says, well, just think about it. Think of all the animals in all the world. I said, there's a lot of animals out there, Daddy. He said, he said, I think maybe we're the only ones that God created that has an imagination. I think maybe my daddy's right. <laughs> because I have a doggy. My doggy's name is, is, is Lily. And Lily's a wonderful doggy. And I love my Lily. And, and sometimes I like to pretend I'm Lily. <laughs> I like to bump around Lily. <laughs> but you know what? I've never seen Lily pretend to be me. <laughs> I just think about that. Huh? I said, it's something that makes me special. <laughs> I like that. Well, I gotta work on my jump rope, maybe do some pretending. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Wow. I don't know about you. If you've got it, I've always had a crazy imagination, obviously. <laughs> we played with these sort of and, and as we're together and just sharing our time, um, imagination is important and I invite you to use your imagination. Uh, but let's not be overactive with them. And we'll talk a little bit more about that on another day. But today we just want to celebrate imagination. And, um, and, we'll, and, and today we're going to invite you into some imagination action. We're going we're gonna to act out with our ima imagination some. We're going to do that a few different times as we go along, if God gives us some more time to go along. But right now we're going to do some... Uh, uh, so we're gonna, all of you out there, I, I, don't just sit back and watch Dale do what he's going to do. <laughs> We're just sharing together. I wish if, if, if I could really get through that camera and see, I'd say, now, come on, okay, come on, come on, Nicole, let's, come on, let's do that. I call you by name, let's do this. Come on, I say, come on, Elmore, get up where you're at. Or you can sit when you're doing this. Okay, so what we're going to do is, like I'm going to use this over here, sit on over here. So 
others. You can sit. I'll do some sit and I'll do some standing. And you can do either, okay? And uh, let's act out some different animals that we did last week, some of our puppet animals. Animals that, that helped us and puppets that helped us see kind of idea of what we can do with the hard things in our hard times, okay? So let's see if we can be reminded what some of those were. There's the turtle. Remember the turtle? Can we be a turtle? Turtle's so slow. If you want to stand and do it, it's okay. But our turtle last week, what was he? So close up in your shell. Come on, come on. You grandmothers out there, come on. You can do it too. Yeah, you papas out there. Uh huh. Aunts, uncles, daddies, big brothers, come on. The turtle. Because that's what we do sometimes. We get scared and afraid and we kind of hide away in our shells. Yeah, we do. Or sometimes we can get so, uh, uh, a pig, let's be a pig, shall we be a pig? Okay, we're a pig wallowing in the mud. Wallow in the mud. If you want to just lay down on the carpet, you can wallow in the mud, wallow in the mud. Because we just, we play in the mud, wallow in the mud. Or you can do it sitting in the chair or standing up, but just use your mat, you're a pig in the mud. Because sometimes we can be just folks that are just so, so focused on and looking at and thinking about and being bugged by all that stuff that we bug folks. We can become like our wolf friend. Remember our wolf friend last week, Ralph? Be a wolf. Snarl a little bit. Let me see a snarl. Oh, that's good. Hey, moms and dads, hey, kids, moms and dads, kids, if you, if moms and dads, if you have some kids that are really good at this, send me their names. I want to know, know their name. And kids, if you have any moms and dads that are really good at this, make them send me their names, okay? Because sometimes we, we get bugged and we start bugging others. Yeah, we do. Okay, or, or one of my favorites is a caterpillar. Okay, let's uh, you can sit down in the chair and be a caterpillar, or you can walk it, be a caterpillar. A caterpillar is stuck on the ground. So you can actually be down on the ground, being a caterpillar. Okay, I think I'll do mine standing up. Caterpillar and along. Does God love caterpillars? No, he does. Does he want us as caterpillars to stay caterpillars? Because caterpillars are stuck on the ground. They're kind of stuck under that stuff we call gravity. Oh, oh, oh. Let's say we don't want to be. So we're going to think butterfly. Think butterfly, think butterfly. Does that make us butterflies? No. Let's say we're going to play butterfly games. that make us butterfly? No. Oh. Oh. Let's say we get this crazy idea trying to fight it off at first, but we end up crawling way up on a limb, and we're going to hang upside down. Ah, okay? I don't know if I'll ever be able to get up again. <laughs> so grandmas and grandpas may not do this one, okay? <laughs> okay, we're in our cocoon. Take a little nap. We leave this stuff all around ourselves. Okay, we're in the cocoon. Take a nap. Okay, you're in the stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Come out of that cocoon. Come out of that cocoon. Come out of that cocoon. Oh, what are we? That's right. We're butterflies. Butterflies. Now gravity still tries to pull us down, but we have been given what? Wings. So let's use our wings to fly. Okay, right now I want you to flit and flutter all around your room there. Come on, flit and flutter. Flit and flutter. Whoa, flit and flutter. Isn't that great? Now pull on your wings, what happens? You go back down, don't you? That's kind of like what we talked about. As we become in Christ, as we make him the leader of our lives and, and the forgiver of our sins, then we become in him, and we become in Christ, and he makes us new creations. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Hard times happen to us all. But before Christ, we're kind of stuck just being bugged and doing our best and sometimes in the mud. But with Christ we have wings. Wings, and we can do something with those wings. Let's be a frog, okay? Our, our last one today, frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Frogs hop, don't they? But you can do that sitting down too. Ribbit. 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 
frog it, frog it, rib it, let's frog it, let's do it, fully, rely, on, God, rib it, rib it, whew, I'm need to take a nap, all right, uh, when we get bugged, instead of bugging, let's look for what Jesus is doing, whether it be a little object that we find, or whatever it might be, new friend, or let's not become turtles or pigs wall, and let's, let's take our wings, let's have our wings, let's accept Christ as leader of our lives and forgive our sins, come into being, into him, and so on, okay? Let's close with some wonderful good news that's part of the wings that God has given us. And we're going to close with it. And this is what we've done before. <clears throat> Get over here by the cross to remind us of that good news. Um, and um, Jesus loves. Okay? Some of you, this is the first time you've done this. Some of you, you say, we did this last week. Okay? Yeah, we did. If you're doing it the first time, monkey see, monkey do. Just kind of copy along, okay? Jesus loves who? Me, you, us all. No matter what. Think about that. Whew. We're going to go on though. Therefore, therefore, in, like, yep, in... Let's slide our hands by, by, in, by, like a target, through his love. We, like this is a jump word, can love me, you, us all. No matter what. That good news is part of the wings that God wants to connect us with Him as we accept Jesus to be the leader of our lives and forgive our sins. Oh, thanks for letting us be back with you today. If God gives us tomorrow, we'll join back with you tomorrow. Can't wait to show you, but I will. Let's pray. Forgive me for the times that I end up bugging my lovely bride, my wife, uh, crawl into my shell. That's one of my babies. I crawl into my shell. Forgive me for the time that I bug those around me. Um, thank you that you love me anyway, no matter what. Uh, thank you that you let me see and to give thanks and to lay down the burdens, the bricks. Thank you that you've given me an imagination. Yeah, sometimes I get over-imagined. <laughs> Lord, thank you that imagination helps me. And I pray you'll use it to help my friends realize we're special. We don't have to make believe about that. We are. We'll think that. We'll think on the things we know more than the things we don't know. We'll spread our wings and fly. We'll rib it and we'll frog it. I pray that for me. I pray that for us. In Jesus' name. Oh, let's do it this way. I love to pray this way. End our prayers like this. Not in just in Jesus' name, but we can pray in the name of the Father and the Son, which is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hope to see you tomorrow.